Now that we have finished our first tower, we can use MASH to create a, another tower dead easily. So we're just going to duplicate our network here. And let's tidy up our new network. Let's switch off the visibility, the spring, the offset and the ID node. And choose the transform node and let's switch that position to 605 and zero. Oh, as we can see, as we have switched off the ID node, all we have is antennas. Let's fix this. When we duplicated the network, new antenna and tower geometry were created. Select the MASH for Tower 02 in the MASH editor. And let's go along to our repro node. So Tower 01 antenna and Tower Floor 1 have been created. So that's that guy. Let's delete him. And probably in our building. Yep, Tower Floor 01. There we go. So we go back to our MASH network, distribute. The reason that we're doing this is that we just don't want to have duplicate geometry everywhere. And so I'm now just going to middle mouse drag my tower floor, and there we go. Let's also just delete our tower one visibility node. We've got, otherwise we'll have duplicates everywhere. And again, I'm just going to go away and tidy up the naming structure. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're done, so I'm just going to go back to our MASH for distribute node and change the number of points to 10, distance y to 9, and I'm going to zero our scale attributes to remove the taper. In the tower transform node, I'm just going to change all our scale to 0.8, and I'm just going to change the position here to 1 and I'll probably rotate this 90 degrees. There we go. Let's switch our offset node and our spring node back on. And as we can see, our small tower is jumping up with its bigger brother. Let's adjust the timing of this second tower. Select the fall off MASH4 tower 02 offset. There we go. And we can see the two red lines on the timeline here at frame 30 and here at frame 60. We can quickly move these by shift clicking and dragging in the timeline. So I'm going to shift click, then use this middle guy to just move up to say, say frame 75. And now when we play our animation back, yeah, great, two different timings. Okay, now we can switch back on our visibility node and we can use our fall off from our first tower just by middle mouse button click and drag into our fall off object. And again, just by keeping everything tidy, minimizing our fall offs, MASH is handling all the animation and visibility issues for us.